Hey guys, so this is the scatter graph for the Pearson's correlation for question 3C. So first we need to work out what the Pearson correlation is. So we'll go equals Pearson, open bracket, and we've got to find our two arrays. So that's going to be age, whoops, sorry I'm laying sideways on a bed here, it's a bit hard. Um, so that's age, comma, over there, and resting heart rate. Oop. That's it. And <clears throat> close bracket, enter. So we can see it's 0 0.63 something, something, something. Then I'm just going to move that there. We're going to go to insert and then down by the graphs we want to insert a scatter graph. Just that one there is fine. Move this across to wherever you want it. Make it a little bit bigger if you want. And select data. Add um, so we can just ignore the series name for now, I did. Um, then you'll see on this one, unlike the bar graphs, you've got the X value and the Y value in one box. So our X value, we're going to go select our age. All the way down to the bottom. And our Y value. is resting heart rate. Now we all better hope I'm right, eh? Um, and OK. And OK. So that's going to give us a graph that looks like this. And there's a big gap from the 0 to 20. We don't want that. So we're going to go to this little plus button and our axis, press the little arrow, more options, and here where it says axis options bounds, our minimum we want to change to 20, and you'll see that'll move our graph to the side. And we'll start our age range from 20 rather than 0. Um, then we're going to go plus again, we want to add a trend line, and we want linear, so that's that one added, and we also want some titles, so X is title, click in there, um, <clears throat> and we'll go average resting heart rate, and we can call this one, whoops, age or whatever you want to name it but that's what they those are and our title can be average motherfucker average resting heart rate by by age yep. and that's that there's our graph and then you just got to go and do the um, or discuss what you see there. Hopefully that was helpful.